Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boss with Violet at Damn Bar. Wireless speaker. So it says that it's Bluetooth, um, it's iHip. No, I ain't kidding, it says right there, iHip. So it's a wireless connection. Very says wires over 30 feet, hands free call in, two hours of music. This is their uh, red one. I think they had like a white one. They might also have a black one, but I figured the white one would be like the best one for myself. And it's like universal Bluetooth stereo, so you're, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like an iPad. Pod, I'm guessing, because there's like the iPhone right there. I mean, that's supposed to be like an Android phone. Anyway, laptop, desktop, as long as we take the Wi Fi, it should work. Down here, access through uh, micro cable, data slot, one. Micro SD up to 32 gigabytes? Say what? And then it says data slot 2 USB up to 32 gigabytes. What? Does that mean you can have data stored on USB flash drive and on a SD memory card? I guess so. And then it says radio FM. Radio. Output power at 6 watts. THD minus 10%, not really sure what the heck that means. Frequency response is 150 through 18 kilohertz, I guess. Battery is 400 milliamp hertz, recharge with battery. Playback time is 2 hours. Charge voltage is DC 5 volts. Full charge time is 2 hours. 2 hours to fully charge this baby. Drive is 2, and that means a 3. Watt 40 hertz, um, Bluetooth version is 5.0, wireless range is you know over 30 feet. So, what you get here, jam bar, USB charging cable, and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary and two in one cable instruction manual. So, yep, let's bear the bots. I went to Menards and I picked this up at Menards and 10 bucks. So it almost looks like the uh, pill from Beats Audio that Dr. Dre made. That's what this kind of reminds me of, like the pill. Except, you know, it doesn't have like the red and blue. Or, you know, like if you play Dr. Mario, it kind of looks like the pills in Dr. Mario. So it's Dr. Dre, Beats Audio, and Dr. Mario kind of pill. That's what it looks like. It looks like a freaking pill for those things. So oh, here's our little baggie, and then let's just open it up and see what we get in here. So as you can see, we get the special cable that this then charges for a USB micro. You got a stand USB on this side, and then it splits to a 3.5 millimeter jet. Our little instruction manual. Tell us what. To get to the first page, uh, it falls out. 
kind of where our buttons are. Move that to the side. Here it is. It doesn't, it kind of has a hard plastic back here, but on the front side, it kind of has like a rubberized plastic type of tester to it, which is weird. Because you could maybe even see it here that this side is all rubber, while this side is like hard plastic. Which doesn't make any sense. You think that you put hard plastic on the front and back, or rubberize the front and back. But no. So I guess there's our iron off switch, our little charging port right back here. Then you have a USB where you can put in USB, a SD card slot. So we could just go ahead and grab a little SD card and slot it in there. Okay, uh, let me go grab a flash drive. So Like that. Like I said, there's our on and off switch. What sort of things on the top side here? So, uh, number one, which uh, they really have bad buttons on here for the little icons. But number one is supposed to be our skip backwards. Decrease volume. Number two. Oh no, wait. Here, number one is down here. For skip backwards and decrease volume. Number two is way up here, which is our skip forward, increase volume. Number three, which is this middle one, which is the mode button. Number four, play pause. Right there, that I hit. That's the play pause B button. Five is our iron off switch. Six is the uh, TF card slot. So what the hell is this? It's the SD card slot, but they're saying that's a TF card slot. Seven is charging port. Oh, I see right there. And then eight is the USB slot, which is about the only thing that they seem to have gotten right. Is this waterproof? Well, they say do not emerge in water or any liquid, other liquid, so I'm going to have to say nope, it ain't waterproof. Um, let's see here. Let me let the uh, car features. So it says answer incoming car. Uh, Press the I hit button once to answer incoming call. So if someone's calling you, you hit the I hit once and call after your phone conversation. Sure, you press the I hit button. So that, and then of course, increase volume, decrease volume. Read our last number. Sure, you press the I hit button and it'll redial them. I guess. Then, uh, let's see, if you listen to the USB or the uh, SD card slot, so it says, uh, turn the speed drive, insert the card or flash drive into the appropriate slot. Music would be automatic streaming. Short press the uh, press or down button to move forward batteries on your playlist. So you press the I hit button to play a pause track. And then speaker for the, not speaker, but the FM radio. Turn on speaker, insert the Ziri cord into the R port. Leave the, leave the what? 
other end of the cord open. A Z cord serves as an FM antenna or an FM radio mode. So you press the uh, mode button each time until FM mode is selected. So what was our mode button? Three. So the middle one. I have to press the middle one until mode button four. This thing can be cool, wacky doodle, crazy on us, the way how they uh, explain things, so, I guess we'll give it a try with the FM radio, so, we'll insert this, turn it on, the Bluetooth device is ready to pair, yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, I ain't getting anything for this FM.